welcome to Tiger Nation. I am Lisa Crumpton Young, and I am proud to serve as the 13th president of the Texas Southern University. This is a wonderful afternoon for us, because for many of you, you know that at Texas Southern University, we are committed to transforming lives. We are committed to transforming the lives of our students, and we're committed to transforming the lives of individuals in our community. And so today is an outstanding opportunity for us, because we get an opportunity to celebrate one of the outstanding coaches in the NFL, Coach Lovey Smith. We get an opportunity to celebrate his success, and we also get an opportunity to celebrate the beginning of a partnership with the Texans. So I am looking forward to an outstanding afternoon together. I just want to say a few things. We know that it always takes a spark to start a fire. And the type of fire that we are here to celebrate today started with a spark from a man whom you will, he whom you will hear from next. And that spark was Mr. Albert Myers who serves as the chair of the Board of Regents. Mr. Albert Myers called me up and said, President, we need to celebrate Lovey. We need to celebrate Coach Lovey. And I said, well, let's celebrate Coach Lovey. <laughs> because when someone calls you with that much energy, enthusiasm, and excitement about an individual who is changing the face of football, you don't hesitate to say, let's celebrate him. So I'm excited today, and I won't say much more because Mr. Albert Myers is on the program, and he's going to say everything that I know he'd like to say about Coach Lovey. But once you have someone that starts a fire, you all know that there's so many other ingredients that are necessary for that fire and for that flame to truly become ignited. And so I also want to thank the McNairs. I want to thank Hannah and Cal, and Cal McNair because if they were not here and not involved, there's no way we would have a partnership. And I remember the day, the first day I had an opportunity to go to their facility because the next person who helped this fire to get started is the person I was going to visit. And that's their new president, Greg Grisham. And he and I both realized that we're both new presidents. And so we said, There's, there has to be something that we can do together. So as I walked into the building to meet with him, I had an opportunity to see a video. And I will tell you, in my seven months in being in Houston, I've learned a lot. I did, I did get a chance to uh, catch up on sports. Everyone knows I'm a real scholar, so maybe I'm not as knowledgeable about sports. I'm going to apologize in advance. But as I walked in, I saw a video, and it was playing. And it was a video of Hannah doing some work in the community. And when I walked upstairs, just before walking up, there was another person here who's been part of this team to get things started, and that was our chief of police, Mary Young. And as I saw the video and I looked at her and I said, this is amazing. This is her commitment to the community, the things that she's doing. This video is amazing. And I said, I'd like to have a partnership with her to advance the transformation of lives of our students on our campus and to advance the commitment and the things that we provide in our community. And I remember Chief Young said, well, just tell Greg that because Hannah's fabulous. I'm sure we can do a, get a partnership. And so that's why we are here today. And so I did have a chance to have a great conversation with Greg. And Greg and I are both new presidents, but we're committed to transforming lives. We're committed to transforming the community. And we're also committed to making sure that these types of partnerships are developed and they are sustained for a long period of time. So today is literally just the first step. 
So I want to thank, of course, the Texans. I want to thank my team here at Texas Southern, our Vice President for Intercollegiate Athletics, Dr. Granger, who also has been a big part of getting things started and getting things going. I want to acknowledge the other members of the Board of Regents. If you're here, I know that Mr. Chair will probably say a thank you to it as well. So our other members of our Board of Regents, please stand. We have Regent Carter, Regent Venom, and Regent Rose. Thank you for all of your support. We also have some elected officials here. I know I have seen my wonderful councilwoman from District D that we call the destination. And thank you, Dr. Carolyn Evans Shabazz, for being with us. I think I saw another elected official. Did I see Representative Ron Reynolds in the room? Okay, he's here as well. Now, I will tell you the great part about being here is I can't see everyone in the back of the room, but if there are other elected officials, Thank you so much for being here. All of the members of the Texans, let's thank you as well. Please stand. All of the members of the Texans, there's been a team, there's been a wind beneath our wings, so thank you so much. Of course, we have some new cheerleaders. I have my cheerleaders who are here, my, my students that are here, my mascot. I want to thank you for everything, and then I want to thank my new cheerleaders. I told the Texans, don't worry, we really won't take them, but I told them they could become part of our cheerleading squad. So I want to thank the cheerleaders from the Texans as well. So now that I've thanked everyone and, and talked about the excitement of this partnership, I just want to say a few words here. This partnership has a component that will support facilities on our campus, and we know we need to enhance facilities to ensure the health and safety of our athletes. So we want to thank you for your support of our facilities, for our field, and all of those components that help to ensure we have a safe environment. I also want to thank you for the scholarships. We know that we can't transform a life of a student if they don't have the financial resources to remain in school. We have academically talented students, the best and the brightest, but they do need help financially to remain in school. So we want to thank you for the scholarships. And I want to say one thing about the scholarships. It's absolutely exciting when you have a partner that believes in the importance of doing something that no other organization has done. On our campus, we talk about innovation, transformation, and disruption. And when they announced that their scholarships would be focused on female athletes, that was innovative, transformative, and disruptive. And I am so excited about this partnership. I just learned a quick story, and I asked Hal if I could tell this story. But I found out that his mother was the first football, first female football player in college. And she was a linebacker. And she also played basketball, Granger. She played both. Wow. <laughs> so it is an absolute honor today to be standing in front of a, a, a partner that believes in the importance of supporting not just all athletes, but female athletes as well. So thank you so much for the partnership. At this point, I would like to invite to the podium the person that, that ignited this fire from the very beginning, our chairman of our Board of Regents, Dr. Albert Myers. Mr. Albert Myers, I promoted him. Mr. Albert Myers. No, no doctor. Um, let me once again welcome you to Texas Southern University. Uh, and let me also thank Madam President. I think you understand now why we brought her to Texas Southern University. She is 100% energy. She's trying to do the right things for these students here. And every partnership that we create is through this energy wherever she went that she <laughs> is presenting to you here today. Uh, I know she did this early on, but I definitely got to acknowledge my regents again because it's one thing to be a chairman, 
But if you don't have the support, the right hand, the left hand, the push, the yes or the no, and a lot of no's, um, you can't do, uh, I can't do some of the things that I'm doing. So I like to acknowledge Regent Carter. Uh, actually, he was over the, um, this election team that hired the president. So uh, Regent Benham, Regent Rose, I think, where's Regent Rose at? She's here. And, and, and so let me also uh, acknowledge uh, Councilwoman Shabazz again. We're in her district, if you didn't know that. I want to make sure everybody knows that. Um, I don't know what other elected officials are here, but I want to make sure I acknowledge her. We also have the consulate from the Bahamas here, a good friend of mine, uh, Consulate Rose, I, Lyndon Rose. Uh, I, I, you may know him as part of the, that five flamma jamma scenario <laughs> way back then, but uh, and he still looks good. So let me, um, let me uh, acknowledge a couple of things here real quick before um, I acknowledge somebody while we're doing all this for Mr. and Mrs. Smith. That was a movie, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. <laughs> you remember that? But um, I have had the opportunity um, to have known Coach Smith for a long time. Actually, when I was actually a younger man, he was actually a little younger man without a less, little less grade, and myself with a little less grade and a little bit more hair. But one of the qualities, I think, um, when you start thinking about anything that you're doing is the quality of an individual. I think you start by that when you hire a new president or when you hire a new CEO. You find out the background and the quality of somebody outside of their coaching abilities or their management abilities, et cetera. I remember when we went through the process with the president, I mean, we looked at everything from her family, and next thing you know, you're meeting her dad, her kids, and it tells you a lot early on about her values. Well, the same as this gentleman that the Texans have made now their head coach. Um, you already know the, the, the coaching history from Tulsa to, you know, quite frankly, if one or two plays, instead of saying Dungy was the first African-American winner of the Super Bowl, it could have been Lovey Smith. <laughs> a lot of folks don't know that. It was two, two African-Americans in the Super Bowl when Chicago met back then, and, and um, Mr. Dungy at that time was on the right hand of the time at the time, but uh, it could have been easily Lovey Smith with a few, few plays here and there. But to give you an idea of, of, of how special this individual is, I, I, I told a few people um, from the University of Tulsa, and that's where I went to school, and that's where he started his career off at, that we were honoring him here at Texas Southern University. Several of them flew in, not because they are Texans fans or because they are TSU fans, but they're definitely a Lovey Smith fan. And they flew in just to acknowledge this day with us also. So let me do two things here. One, I want to congratulate you being named the head coach of the Texans. Okay. Secondly, we, we welcome Coach Smith to Houston when he was the defensive coordinator right here at this university. Now we're acknowledging him today as the head coach of the Texans. But without that, let me go into the second half because this is where it all counts, folks. Uh, you can't do what you do unless you have somebody that's at the door uh, in terms of 100% support as being a coach. Uh, and I already know the hours, you know the hours, you know how this game go, you've been at it a long time. Ms. Smith, I wanna welcome you to Houston also, okay? And, and to welcome you into this family no different than we welcoming Coach Smith. So um, I could stand up here and say a lot. Uh, the president suggested that you know, I was the spark behind this, but yes and no, maybe so, but um, you got to have the right people working on things. So Greg, Dr. Granger, uh, Madam President, a team came together to figure out how to do this. I applaud you gentlemen and, and ladies for doing to make this happen. And, and just like you got to have a quality individual, you first got to have a desire to want to do something. I said that to you, Hannah and Mr. McNair. You got to have a desire that you want a partnership like this with Texas Southern University. And so it's a beginning 
It's a first step, but wow, just think about the things we can do. This is a win for TSU, this is a win for the Texans, and this is a win for the Houston community. So I applaud, because we got a winner on every side of the aisle here. Okay? I also want to thank the, um, our football team. Coach McKinney is here. Uh, I want to thank our players for being here. And I thank the president has acknowledged everybody else, the cheerleaders on both sides of the aisle here. And uh, I want to thank Ms. Spalding and her team and everybody for putting this on and making this happen. So I think at this point in time, I would like to introduce somebody I have a lot of respect for. I applaud him. Uh, I'm glad he's here. And I, I you know, I, 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 I watch football. I'm a big fan of football. I know about the coaching carousel. So I have to say this. Give him a little time. Let him build this thing. Okay, let him build this thing. It takes a minute. If you want a winner here in Texas, in, in Houston again, give it a little time. And, uh, and we're going to give you the graciousness of that time here from the community. And we're going to support you. And we're glad you're here. Coach Smith. Come on. I think everybody should see the package before we get to the, re the, the real course here. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. All right, I'm going to give it to you, Coach. Thank you. Um, first off, to uh, President Young. Um, Chairman Myers had a good sound to it. And everybody at TSU, uh, the people from the community that came out, um, uh, thanks for hosting this special event. Um, to, uh, to say that this is special to me is uh, saying quite a bit. Um, you know, I'm from Texas. And I let everybody know where I'm from. Really proud to be here. So that means I'm a, you know, I'm a product of the, the public system in our state, uh, and, and also a product of Texas high school football. So when I say that it's an honor and a dream come true for me to lead a Houston Texan a football team, uh, that's an understatement. I'm so thankful to uh, the McNair family, uh, especially Miss, Miss Janice, and of course, Hannah and Cal for giving me this great opportunity. Uh, some other things that, um, you know, when you get in this position a little bit, uh, I can understand where our football team is right now, and there's just so much excitement going on right now. Eventually, no, not instead of eventually, how about soon? We'll put a product on the football field, a team on the football field that you're going to be proud of. We're in the process of that right now. Uh, uh, this past Monday, our football team came back to start all-season workouts, and it's just, you know, it's just good to kind of see some of their faces. Um, we're hard at work. We just finished free agency for the most part, and we're working hard on the draft, and the draft will pay big dividends for us. But it's about, it's about um, our current roster. We have a few of our outstanding players here today. I think I saw Jonathan Grenard. I think Jonathan is here. Ross Blacklock. I think Ross is here. Kristen Kirksey is also in the back or in the front here. And HBCU alum Titus Howard is here. There's a lot of pressure for some of our current players to do well because of, you know, the players that came here before them. Of course, Andre, Saul Chester, and so many of our other alumni that have decided to make Houston their home. Uh, we're proud of them, and of course, they're doing special things in our community, just like they did special things uh, with our football team. Another reason why I'm so excited about where we are right now is our coaching staff. We have an excellent coaching staff. I hope you get a chance to know some of the guys. A lot of our coaching, a lot of our coaches are here today. Again, they're hard at work, but they, you know, took a little break to come over here to celebrate uh, with all of us today, including HBCU alum, P. 
Pep Hamilton, and HBCU alum Ted White on our staff. So we're, we're pretty proud of them. Um, there's so many other things, you know, good things going on. Uh, I know you're kind of honoring me and our team today, but I want to say thank you. Everything I have in life, I kind of owe to my education. You know, someone taking a chance on giving me an opportunity. And that's exactly what we're getting here at Texas Southern. Uh, long tradition, long history of, of putting out outstanding leaders. And, you know, our leaders of tomorrow are, are really right here. So we appreciate this opportunity, of course, that you're giving so many students. Hal and, uh, really Cal and Hannah are, you know, something that's really big to them. They talk about reducing barriers for opportunities. And that's exactly what this partnership is doing a little bit too. So I like what we're doing academically, but you know, I'm a football guy and I'm a football fan. And I have on exactly what, you know, you talked about with us building. I'm excited about what's happening with our Texas Southern football team. Coach McKinney has been an outstanding coach, whether it be Yates High School, U of H, Arizona, Texas A&M, we know the type of leadership that he's, he's given to our team. And I can't wait, uh, you know, for this schedule, for this season to start up with our Texas Southern football team. But before you know it, uh, you know, we'll be going, we'll be traveling to play Prayer View. You know we got to be Prayer View. <laughs> And of course, it doesn't hurt to have North Texas on the schedule and Texas San Antonio also. And, and, and just, <laughs> yes, we do. And then just closing again, um, we're just excited to be back home, back here, my wife Mary Ann, back here in the community uh, to just be a part of it, do our share. There's so much we need to see and we need to do. But thank you for hosting this event. and. Uh, Go Texans, and we're excited about this uh, partnership that we have together. Thank you. Well, let's, no further delay. Let's get to where the rubber meets the road. Um, I want to introduce the family of the Texans, uh, Hannah McNair and Cal. Uh, and I would love to hear from you in terms of your thoughts on why this is an important relationship that we're developing here. I think I've heard enough, but I want everybody here because I think this is a great opportunity for the Texans and, and Texas Southern. So, Hannah and Cal Manair. Introduction. Thank you, President Young and Chairman Myers, for hosting this great reception. Um, and Mom is proud of this partnership, and she wishes she could be here too to celebrate. And we are so proud to honor Lovey, and it's great to see the coaching staff, the players, the legends, and the leaders in our community. And we're so grateful that y'all have come out here to support us. TSU is a pillar in our community and a desired destination for top students and athletes and future leaders. And at the Texans, we strive to make an impact by creating and supporting programs like this. We're excited to be here announcing a special partnership with our friends at TCU, T, TSU, I'm sorry, <laughs> daughters at TCU, to inspire the next generation of our Houston leaders. So thank you. Hannah's going to tell us a little bit about our program. So for those of you that keep saying Hal, that's our celebrity name. We're used to it. It's fine. We, yes. we both, we both answer to that. We, we answer to both. Um, as Cal said, we're thrilled to be here today. This unique partnership focuses on three main initiatives that will support TSU student athletes, faculty, and staff. The partnership includes improving athletic facilities, funding scholarship opportunities for female student athletes, and enhancing engagement with students, faculty, and staff. Here's some of the details. We are donating the team's artificial playing surface from NRG Stadium. 
We are supporting the football field house improvements that will assist recruiting top tier student athletes to TSU. We are awarding $5,000 scholarships to five female student athletes each year. We are also creating opportunities and programming that will provide access to professional development, internships, and mentoring for TSU students, faculty, staff, and athletic leadership. This is really, really special to us. I know that with Cal's mom being a female co collegiate athlete, um, this is something we are, we find just very, it, it meets our hearts. Right. It meets our hearts. We are very excited about this. So thank you for having us today. Thank you, Coach Levy, and thank you, Marion, for being here and just what you've done for the Houston community already. And we're excited about the future. Thank you all so much, and thank you for the partnership, thank you for the leadership, Coach Lovey, and thank you for all the support with everyone we have here today. We have a couple of other people who've joined us, and I want to thank them for being here. We have Bishop James Dixon with the NAACP. Thank you so much for being here with us, Bishop. We also have two members of the TSU Foundation Board. So two of our trustees, we have Ramon Manning, Trustee Manning, and we also have Trustee Theo Franklin. Thank you so much for being here with us today. One of the things I heard Coach Lovey say, he's from Texas and he's proud to say that. I am also from Texas and I'm proud to say that. Earl Campbell is the first, Tyler Rose, I'm the second. <laughs> So, in the Southern way, we thanked everyone, we've welcomed you. What we want to do now in Tiger Nation as part of welcoming you and celebrating this partnership is to encourage you to enjoy all of the food and the drinks that we've provided. So thank you so much for coming and have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day.